It's time to introduce the next character in our story. This should be an old friend, the Geometric Series. Do you remember how that works? The Geometric Series says that if you take 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, keep going, keep going, add all those terms up, then you get 1 over 1 minus x. Now, you may have seen this demonstrated in different ways, like with a bouncing ball, coefficient of restitution, stuff like that, right? But it certainly is true, but it's only true when x is less than 1 in absolute value. And that's going to be, for us, really key. Now, where does this geometric series come from? Well, let's consider that function, 1 over 1 minus x. Let's think of it as a function. I'm going to rewrite this as quantity 1 minus x to the negative 1 power. And I'm going to let you check the details that if we take the derivative of this function, the kth derivative of this function and evaluate it at 0, what do we get? Well, let's see. Uh, I've got a power rule, a chain rule. When I take the derivative of this thing to the minus 1, I get a negative 1 to the k times negative 1 times negative 2 times all the way up through negative k since I'm taking k derivatives. And then I've got that quantity 1 minus x to the negative 1 minus k. I put that down in the denominator. I set x equal to 0. And what do I get? Uh, let's see, all those minus signs go away. And x goes to 0. I'm simply left with k factorial. Now, to do this rigorously, it takes a little bit of work, a little bit of induction. I'll let you do that. But if we now consider this function 1 over 1 minus x as the sum, k goes from 0 to infinity, of 1 over k factorial times the kth derivative evaluated at 0 times x to the k, then what do we get? The derivative is k factorial. Divide by k factorial. Those cancel. We're left with the sum k goes from 0 to infinity of x to the k. That is the geometric series. And of course, it's simply a Taylor series. It's the Taylor series of the function 1 over 1 minus x. Now, we can also think about this algebraically. Take that geometric series. Take that 1 plus x plus x squared. Keep going, keep going. Multiply the entire thing by quantity 1 minus x. If we pretend that this is like multiplying polynomials, then what happens? I'm going to distribute that multiplication. I get 1 times the geometric series, then minus x times the geometric series. Multiplying through by minus x, I'm going to keep the minus sign out in front, distribute the x that shifts all of the powers up by 1. Subtracting it from the original geometric series gives me simply 1. What does that mean? What do we do next? Oh, right. We just divide both sides by quantity 1 minus x. And that's it. We have derived the geometric series from scratch. Now, you might be a little suspicious at this point, and you would be right to be a little suspicious. We have not seen anything about convergence. Remember, remember, we must have x strictly less than 1 in absolute value for this series to make sense. That's not just some minor technicality. This is really important. We are going to be using this geometric series very frequently in this chapter and beyond. And its convergence domain is really key to how it behaves and how its behavior is limited. Make sure, make sure you remember this series and its convergence domain.